Hello, my name is Diego from the Hit Music Studio, and in this video, I would like to share the top five mistakes that we see adults make when they are starting to take music lessons. And uh, here at the Hit, we have been teaching since 2007, and I'm fortunate enough to be the director of two music schools in South Florida. So I wanna share this information to hopefully get you to avoid this uh, top five mistakes. So number one, talent. A lot of people think that talent is something that you need to get started. I can tell you our best students are not necessarily the most talented. Actually, our best students, sometimes they do their first performance and their first performance is terrible. They leave the stage crying and it was not a good, uh, it didn't come out the way that they wanted. And they usually not only start putting more and more work, they get more and more discipline about it, and those students stay with us for years and become really, really good. Some of our most talented students last two to three weeks, and after that, they get bored and they don't wanna continue. So talent is not something that you need to get started. I can tell you as an educator, I would prefer a hard work and discipline any day over talent. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, number two, and this we see it very regularly. We get people that, okay, I'm, I wanna take piano lessons because I wanna learn this song on piano in three months. So one of the main things that I would tell you is avoid getting drawn to songs. I know because it happens to me that you're out and about, you go to a restaurant, you hear a song, you go like, oh, I wanna get home and try to learn that. It is cool to have songs, but songs have technical differences that may be really, really big. For example, if someone played the song when they were playing for 30 years at that moment in their career, what they're gonna play is not suitable for a beginner. So sometimes what's behind the song in terms of like how the song works may really be a bad choice for a beginner in terms of like where you are and what you can do. So it is okay to have goals, and I think songs can be a goal, but definitely try to find the help of an instructor or a program because you either wanna find an easy version of the song or you wanna make sure that someone can tell you, you know, that's not a great choice for you right now because if not, you're probably just gonna get frustrated trying to go at that song and, oh, I can't get it and something's going on. And it's like, yeah, maybe it's just not the correct choice at the but in your first three to six months and you just have to do other things. My suggestion on that would be concentrate on doing exercises, not songs. So you can do songs, but do more exercises that are getting you to get a good foundation on the instrument. So number three, some adults do not listen to directions and are even worse than five-year-olds. So that is something that it's hard to help. So it is very important I, I know as an adult, you may understand a little bit better the process of, of learning, but it is important to, when you are trying to learn, and especially for me, if I'm trying to even pay someone to like teach me something, I try to really do the way that I've been taught the first times and make sure that I am really following the process. Because I believe that people that are behind the teaching have already tried their best at putting to something together that makes sense. So we see uh, adults trying to bypass some of the steps. Oh no, I, I wanna do step one and seven. I don't wanna do the middle part. And it's like, it just takes time. So as an adult, it takes a little bit of surrendering, control, but I think it's important if you are and you wanna learn, make sure that you try to get into a program and make sure that you follow the direction of that program or that person, because I think that's gonna be really, really useful. So, and this ties into mistake number four, Sometimes people wanna learn, but they don't get a program. They just start going into YouTube and looking at random things, random songs, uh, bits and pieces of different instructors and people that put out content. And I can tell you that is also a recipe, not only to have a really shaky foundation, but to get frustrated. Because one of the things I would suggest is invest into a program. So try to get a program that has 10 to 20 lessons that are tied up together because when we put our courses and our programs together, including we have some free ones, we really try to check, okay, is page four uh, easier than page five? And sometimes as a school, after having hundreds of students go through the process, we start to see, okay, this page, we need to move it, you know, as, as page 11, it can't be six because it's too hard if we put it there. People are not ready for it. So make sure that you find a program and that you follow it. I think it's gonna make your life a lot easier. 
And let's uh, talk about lastly, uh, mistake number five. And this one has to do with uh, unrealistic expectations in time. Oh, in three months, I want to learn how to play this song because I'm going to play it for my brother's wedding. That is also something that sometimes might work and might be an okay challenge and sometimes might put a ton of pressure on you. So timing is something that in music, is, uh, it may happen. Uh, it's a component of a lot of variables. Like, for example, like how much are you practicing? Are you practicing five hours a week or are you practicing zero? So if you're practicing zero plus you have like I, in three months, I need to be able to complete this or do that. I think it can get very, very frustrating. So I would say don't put on the framework of like in this amount of time, I want to do this. In music also, one of the things that I see with progress is progress is not completely linear. You practice and practice and sometimes things are not getting better. And then from one day to the other, you're able to do something. So it is a little bit about persistence, but time is an equation that I think just is good to, to just put in the work put in the habit of practicing regularly without necessarily having the expectation of when are you going to be able to do something. So hopefully these five uh, top mistakes that we see are something that you can avoid because part of what we love here is to help adults as well get started in their music journey. If you would like to know a little bit more about what we do, check our main website, thehitmusicstudio.com. There you can also check the link for the store in which we have a piano course that is completely free for adults. So that's a great place to start if you have never taken lessons before. We'll see you guys on the next one.